First of all, an absolute pleasure to meet you. I am Sai Shetty. I have been Hi. an associate here for just 10 months now. So, uh, absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you for being here so much. Glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you. So, now you've been here since yesterday. Now you've seen the new office. Now, and I remember during my orientation video, there was this little snippet of you know a shutter of the small shop which was ZS in the beginning. <laughs> and now we have key card entries and biometric impressions so what what are your thoughts on this new office move you, you know you know that first office uh, we had uh, was uh, <clears throat> 1700 square feet and not only that we had planned to sublet part of it so if you put that in perspective this office is over a hundred times larger <laughs> just this <laughs> office over a hundred times larger than that first office and but you know, more than that, I think it's perhaps a hundred times better yes. because I feel, uh, you know, one can be alone, one can be in a team, one can be creative, one can be pensive, one can be uh, analytical, one can be... So, so it, it opens up so many dimensions of, uh, of uh, being and working. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when I first walked in, I had that kind of two thoughts. One was that maybe I should check out of my hotel and move here. And the second thought was maybe I should uh, move from Chicago to Pune. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that, I, I, I'm pretty so, sure every, a lot of people will be glad to. Hear you know, that. I, and I'm hoping that we'll bring lots of clients here and they'll be as wowed as I was. That, that, that's amazing. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I hope you guys are uh, able to make the best of it and uh, I'm sure you will. And I, I'm just I'm wondering what the next office is going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, Prabha, thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule today to discuss this with me. So, absolute pleasure. Thank all right, you so thank much. you and all the best in the office. Thank you so yeah. much. Hi, Vijit. Absolute pleasure to meet you, first of all. Likewise. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So, first off, you have been here in ZS India since the beginning, 2004. You saw the office in Pune here go from, you know, this small shop, so to speak, yeah. from, you know, to what it is now. So, what are your thoughts on this journey that ZS has taken in India? So, you know, technically I haven't seen it all along the way, mm -hmm. because I launched the Pune office, was here for three years, and I actually went back to the US mm -hmm. for six, seven years, something like that. And now I'm back in Delhi. But anyway, I think, good question <laughs> about, uh, where we came from and you know I was just 10 minutes ago I was with Prabha, Prabha Sinha mm -hmm. and he was asking me you know did you ever imagine we'd be in this place and quite honestly I, I said no I think at that time we had started out with this notion of this being an, a little offshoot of uh, ZS from the US mm -hmm. uh, and never imagined where it would be which is now it's powering all the work that we do mm -hmm. uh, across many many countries many many clients uh, I think, you know, statistically we touch about 70% of all the work or we do about 70% of the work that ZS globally does. So it's just amazing uh, where we've come. Great to hear. I mean, being a small minuscule part of that 70%, I personally feel very proud. So... <laughs> <laughs> Not a minuscule part. You are the biggest thank part, you. the individual ZS. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, this is not your first witnessing of, you know, an office expansion or a revamp. Mm. We know that the Delhi office went through a similar revamp a couple of years ago. And, you know, the, Z the ZS Pune team used that office as, you know, a template and try to build up on that for the Pune office. 
so your thoughts on that on where the so my thoughts is, the, is pune right now i feel has exceeded delhi <laughs> <laughs> you know i hope the delhi folks will forgive me for saying that but <laughs> i think uh, pune has outdone delhi in terms of uh, just you know i think it's it's really good i mean you uh, first of all you feel like this office is kind of floating in the clouds yeah? <laughs> that uh, there's this feeling of uh, bringing the outside in and there's lots of very nice sort of floor to ceiling windows um so that's the sort of physical part i think the the people part of it is that uh, i think you know i've walked around a little bit and i've seen teams working closely together mm-hmm. and i'm thinking my goodness this is really going to foster a lot more uh, collaboration uh, teamwork you know team meetings can happen right there you know, <laughs> people are yes. facing each other uh, so i think both at the unit level as well as sort of the the uh, aesthetic and cosmetic level uh, this office is looking better and I'll, i'll be the first one to admit <laughs> that's great i'm sure the design team the team the entire admin team behind this whole move and the design of the office they'll be glad to hear this validation from you so thank you for that i actually met shweta who's designed yeah. both the offices yeah. and she was asking me the same question <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, great so and i did i did tell her she'd done better <laughs> awesome <laughs> so now that you have seen you know a better part of this office if you could you know describe this office in one word or you know or a phrase what would that be right now i think the one word i would think of is surreal <laughs> okay <laughs> i think it's just like i said earlier it's sort of floating in the clouds uh, bringing the outside in all of those things i think it's just feels a little bit surreal very honestly <laughs> i think it you know as it sinks in it will become more at home yeah. uh, more uh, home like yeah. right now it feels very very surreal <laughs> Yeah. that's the word i could think of sorry <laughs> uh, i totally fair i mean i think there are a couple of thousand people just like me who feel the exact same way <laughs> so <laughs> completely Good. relate to that Good. so Good. thank you so much abhijit for being here being thank part you. of our family over here you're talking to you thank you mm-hmm. so much i say i am say as well so thank very you very nice to meet you So as we sit in the new office here it's a big move big office move so how difficult was it and what kind of effort went into this and what thought process went into this from an IT infrastructure point of view right so uh, thanks for the invite uh, sai by the way uh, so i'm sai i've been with uh, zs for a little more than 7 years in zs india uh, zs is not a product firm uh where we are focusing on a single product for the end users it is not a an it services firm where we looking to you know uh provide the same solution over and over again to uh, our clients each of uh, the zsr problem is unique each of our solution for a zsr uh, problem is unique the heart of the solution you know which we provide to our clients uh lies in the way how we collaborate how co- the quality of our collaboration uh, uh, so keeping that in mind i think we did a lot of research uh, before starting the journey of building this office uh, looking at other firms uh, who are in a similar league uh, what kind of setup they have from a technology standpoint uh, to make their uh, employees successful at the end result uh, is what we have today at this office it is pretty unique uh, pretty unique uh, to an office in india uh, keeping in mind almost half of our employee strength lies in india so many of our client solutions come from here uh, our focus was heavily involved in how to make sure the collaboration they have with the other parts of the world the offices in other parts of the world is effective so the end result is we have more than 4000 devices which will be video enabled at the end of the day there is going to be more than 200 rooms which are again enabled for video collaboration and apart from this The best part about all of this is there's going to be more than 15 of those large video conferencing rooms which will have a one touch solution which may which means that the users or the ZSers will spend less time figuring out what the tech, how to operate the technology than you know how to focus on the actual solution. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's uh, the kind of effort we put in building the solution for this office. Yeah. Well, that that sounds amazing. So now we have this idea of a clutter-free environment with this new office move. So how would you best describe the advantages of having this, you know, clutter-free environment? Yeah. The the clutter-free desk is uh, just a byproduct of our thought process. You know, basically we want to make sure ZSR knows which technology works best for them. Mm-hmm. For example, if we had a phone 
and we also had a, a solution on your laptop which enables you to do the same thing, uh, it is going to keep the users confusing. At the same time, if you look at it, there is also another additional equipment on their desk which they are partially going to be using or never be using, mm -hmm. right? So to keep things simple and to make sure everybody understands what we have in place, we made sure all we do is provide a laptop with a headset, with a mobile phone, and they're good to go to connect to anybody, any ZSR across the world, any point of time, 24 by 7. So that's the whole point of it. And just the clutter free desk is just a byproduct of the overall thought process. And I don't think we intended to do something which is clutter free. It just happened as we thought about our solution. Yeah. Well, that sounds efficient for on our part as an organization. So yeah. Sai, thank you so much for spending some time with us today yeah. and answering my questions. No problem. Thank, thank you, you Sai. So Thanks for your time as well. Thank yeah. you. So Chetrali, thank you for joining us tonight, this evening. I'm Sai Shetty. Thanks now, you, the whole day we've been speaking to our leaders and we've acknowledged the aesthetic values that this building, this office move has brought with it. You know, the creative side of CS. But now hearing that you're a sports person yourself, you value your own health very highly. So now what has ZS done with this office move for possibly the most important element of our organization, that is the people that work here. So being the director of HR, would you like to comment on that? So for sure, I think the new office is already becoming a matter of pride for all of us. But I was very honored when the designers actually set up a call with me to get my views about the office design from a people point of view. And uh, in a nutshell, my brief to them was that I wanted our office to be a place where work and life can seamlessly integrate and I think they've done a fantastic job with that. So if you walk around and take a look at our facilities, the infrastructure they've laid out for people to uh, keep fit, for example, a well-equipped gym with showers as well as some sports and recreation by having a pool table, two table tennis tables, but also a professional gym instructor who's going to come here every day to help ZSers get into shape. And then we also have a medical room where we have a physician coming in every day to uh, consult with people who might not be feeling that well, mm -hmm. along with a nutritionist as well as a dietitian and a physiotherapist that will be coming to the office and each having a nice consultation room as opposed to compromising by getting people to come meet them in just regular meeting rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, along with that, the cafeteria services are also going to be focused around serving healthy food to our people. So we have specifically designed kiosks that are going to be serving healthy food to people as an option. So our people can integrate their work, life, work hard, but also keep fit. Wow, so it's, it's really nice to hear that ZS is not just helping ra build rounded professionals, but rounded people as well by taking care of the health aspect. Absolutely. So now, Chetrali, being the director of HR for India, a massive part of your team's job would be identifying talent that ZS would want. So now with this office move, how much more attractive a destination is ZS for new attractive talent out there in the market? That's a good question. Actually this year we've been very fortunate to already be recognized as one of the best uh, employer brand to work for in India. For example, last year we won the accolade through the SHRM where they ranked us the sixth most progressive company to have amazing health and wellness practices. Earlier this year, uh, the World HRD Congress and the Times of India recognized as the 13th dream company to work for here in India. And just yesterday we heard from LinkedIn that we've been ranked as the 21st most popular recruiting brand that people are searching jobs for on social media websites, including that of LinkedIn, of course. And I think this uh, office is just going to go up long way in uh, continuing to build our recruiting brand. A uh, few things that come to my mind, uh, it is just amazing to have the ZS logo right outside. Uh, so this, this is going to be a lot of recognition for the firm and for the brand. And uh, as one of the managers was joking with me saying, Chaitrali, it's made the job of your recruiting team very easy because of this office move. And I was wondering why he was saying that. And then he mentioned that all you have to do is find the right people and invite them to the office and all of them would want to join ZS. Wow, I mean definitely a step in the best direction for ZS right now. So Chetrali, thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening and sharing your views on this big change for all of us as ZSers. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir.
Hi, good evening Shankar. I am Sai Shetty. Very nice to meet you. Now, as you've noticed, a big change, but a pleasant change for everyone part of the ZS organization here in Pune, the big office move. Now, I remember during my orientation, you were asked about your role in ZS Pune and you described it as being the godfather of the office. Now, so being the watchful eye, you know, so to speak, of this office, I would just like to know your overall perspective on this move and the effort that went into making this happen. Absolutely, Sai. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Uh, we just had our inauguration of our new office yesterday, as you know, so it's a uh, lot of effort has gone into getting the office ready. As people say, it takes a village uh, to really get something of this scale accomplished, but I think the outcomes are very much here for all of us to see. I think the reactions from the Pune uh, ZSRs has just been amazing. A lot of positive feedback on the uh, workspace. So very fulfilling. Uh, and I feel like the father of the bride, right? So it's <laughs> a lot of the effort, but I'm ultimately very happy to see the outcomes of the office space. So. I mean, it's always nice to get the perspective of uh, office managing principal, especially on such a big pleasant change for all of us. Now, just to pick your brain, if you could choose one spot from this, you know, massive office that we have, which is just, you know, you could call it your own or it's your favorite, which would it be? Sure, uh, pretty much every which way I look in the office, there's a favorite spot. Uh, but I'll probably describe some of the elephants, elements of the philosophy that went behind the uh, design and. Uh, so the one was, of course, we wanted the physical office space to reflect the way we uh, work. And one central element of how we work at Z is, of course, the collaborative uh, way we work in our teams. And so that is uh, very much reflected in the office design. And the second aspect is the way we connect with our uh, global counterparts, right? So we wanted to reflect that aspect as well. So there is collaboration within our teammates here in Pune, but also with our counterparts, be it our clients, be it our uh, folks in US offices, Europe offices, pretty much across the globe. So that is another element we have tried to capture. And the team in uh, ZS is extremely youthful. So we wanted the office space to be vibrant and I think that's also, we managed to accomplish that as well. And one uh, key element that we heard from our partners is uh, the trend and the wave of the future is um, making sure that the offices are green. Right? And so that's something that we have. Uh, try to accomplish and that's uh, come through in the way that pretty much all our associates and associate consultants are sitting in uh, with a lot of uh, sunlight in their spaces. So that's been some of the elements that gone into the office design. And since you asked me about the favorite spot, I would probably say the candidate experience area. So when folks who come to interview with us, uh, there is a space that we have designed uh, for them. That would be my favorite spot and that's on the fifth floor of our new office space. So. All right. Being a ZSO myself, I have to say that all these changes very positively received. So, thank you for taking out of your time out of your schedule today to share your views with us on this big office move. Thank you so much. Absolutely, Andy. pleasure. Sir. Thank you. Thanks. Hi Tarun, I am Sai Shetty. Hi Sai. Pleasure to meet you. Same here. Now, the biggest change for us since yesterday, the office move. Mm -hmm. Now, what I remember from my orientation while you were introducing yourself is that your professional background, if I could describe it, is very eclectic. Mm -hmm. You've been in a lot of fields, you're an avid cartoonist, I've uh, read, and your educational background states that you are in fact an architect. It states correctly. Exactly. <laughs> so, <coughs> trying to tap into your mm -hmm. artistic and creative side. Sure. Your reflections on this move and how the final product has come out. You know, <clears throat> before I get into the, the creative side, I'd like to reflect and, and share that the way we've been working has evolved mm -hmm. and our workspace hasn't. Okay. So, how do we create value for our clients today? We just don't sit on a desk and then crunch the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. We do this by meeting folks, collaborating with them, having phone conversations, um, uh, having brainstorming workshops. So the way we work has evolved. And I think our biggest focus here was to create a workspace that has caught up with it. And, I, and I'm really happy to say that, uh, as you see all around you, mm -hmm. we've got these collab spaces, we've got these different type of meeting rooms, right? And the layout is so open. Uh, the hope is that 
it, it really clues into the kind of work we are doing for our clients, which involves a lot of creativity and innovation as well. So, so these are my reflections and of course coming back to the fact that uh, yes, I do have some creative uh, uh, roots. I'd, uh, I'd uh, like to share that uh, if you look at the aesthetics, the appointments, uh, the themes uh, and how they've been executed, uh, it, it's pretty phenomenal. Um, having worked as an architect uh, and a designer in my prior life, I can say that there's a big gap between ideas and execution. Right. And this is one project I can proudly say that the, the gap is zero. What we saw in the initial phases is what we have seen yesterday. So, Tarun, uh, being one of the leaders who have been at the helm of this project, mm -hmm. guiding the creativity side of it, so can you explain what was the inspiration that mm -hmm. went into these ideas which ended up being executed so perfectly as you said? So the inspiration, in fact it was a challenge uh, more than anything. The challenge was how can we reflect our culture which is so unique to ZS uh, in our new office space. And um, I did read and study some of it as an architect um, in my early days. But the challenge again was that how do we bring in elements that we are so clued in and so tightly bonded to our onshore teams, to our clients. It's not that we're just an offshore delivery center, but we are a capability and expertise center. So how do we capture that? Uh, we were able to, of course, in elements that you've seen yesterday, uh, which are these work cafes, right? We are picking up uh, ideas from London, Chicago, and yes. so on. Uh, we've been able to, uh, as you've seen, in the appointment of conferencing equipment, which is like, you know, on the, on the touch of a button, you're seamlessly connected to the different offices across the globe. Right. So that was the challenge as well as the opportunity that shaped our thinking right through the project, uh, right from early discussions with the architect, uh, right down to how we finally procured the infrastructure. Uh, I'm sure the entire organization here in Pune shares your thoughts as well. Thank Great. you so much, Tarun, for spending some time with us. Thanks, Sai. Thank Thanks. You so much. Hi, Mukesh. Hi. I'm Sai Shetty. Pleasure to meet you. Now, I just had a couple of questions for you. You being the Director of Finance for ZS India, you were also one of the leading members of the core team for this project, you know, this beautiful office we see now. So I was just wondering, that these two facets, you know, Director of Finance and then the Creative Head, how do you bring these two together? It's a very good question, Sai. Uh, you know, you know, Sai, you know, in ZS, we don't set boundaries for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the most beautiful thing of working in ZS. Uh, it's a capital intensive project, you know, you know, I'm best placed to make sure that, you know, I, yeah. uh, I look into that, uh, mm -hmm. the economics of it. Uh, but, you know, I'm quite passionate about creating something new. And, um, you know, there is a little bit of a pride of bringing something uh, which is liked by my fellow colleagues. So it, it was an interesting experience and, uh, and quite liked it, actually. So now, Mukesh, um, being an employee in this firm now, we all saw this move coming. We all were told that, you know, ZS is going to move into a newer, bigger space. Now, as one of the members of this firm, I know we were in the old office, we moved to the new office. Yeah. Being part of the creative team, could you tell us the reason for this move and perhaps elaborate on the journey that you've been on to get to this point? Side so was an intense journey. Um, what I should say is like, we spent about 18 months uh, for this entire project. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's a funny incident I can tell you, you know, we, we were looking for properties out uh, in the eastern part of Pune. Uh, Graham, who's the CFO, you know, he was on his visit to India. And I said, oh, why don't we show, show you a property out uh, which we are planning to take. It was an under-constructed building. And uh, I, I, I took him up and he, he was so amused to see the building. And I said, I know he clicked a picture actually and said, I, I need to show it to my wife uh, that you risked my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was very interesting actually. So, um, yeah, so we, we took about six months to, uh, to evaluate which is a building we want to uh, occupy mm -hmm. and uh, the commercial negotiation, the contract, and uh, about six months to design it. So, uh, you know, think about the colors which we want to put, uh, the shape of the chairs 
whether you know people have uh, enough distance between two chairs mm -hmm. we pretty much came here to measure each and every uh, you know uh, specs along with our architect so we are not sat satisfied with architect is putting up on the drawings we came here and measured each and everything as to know how our people will feel about such a, uh, things which we are trying to do right so a good good very intense exercise of 6 months and the last 6 months to execute it so i think the importance was the planning was so strong that we can execute it in 6 months so it's a large project uh, Uh, and uh, i think we did a pretty good job of completing in 6 months definitely i mean seeing the final product i mean many people appreciate the beauty of it but they don't a lot of people don't look into the, you know the nitty gritties and you know the journey that I, 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 it took i i say you know you know you know the uh, the amount of uh, effort in terms of you know thinking how our people will think is mm -hmm. such big on the agenda and again a funny incident you know uh, i and shankar were visiting here and um, shankar was like Dude, there are not trees here. In Magarpatta, we have so many trees. Ah, uh, and he said, "Can you talk to the landlord to get some more trees in the Kharadi area?" And I said, "You know, Shankar, I can't get you trees outside the building, but we'll make the office a lot green. So, uh, and that's the reason you see a lot of plants out here in the office." Yeah, exactly. It's a first account of you know how you've worked on that. That's the inspiration. So. <laughs> It's always nice to hear, you know, these little anecdotes about yeah. our senior well, leadership. I, you know, so I'll take the full day actually. Uh, if you know, <laughs> if I tell you stories as to you know what went into this office. I'm sure, definitely. Working from the beginning, like you said, the past 18 months, yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of little snippets about you know how everything came together Absolutely. with this project. Absolutely. Yeah. So now we sit in the final product, you know, the office as it stands, and I know my colleagues, everyone loves it, but for you, having seen. this being your baby so to speak you know what are you feeling is it relief is it vindication could you just touch up on that you know i feel like uh, my movie got you know super hit you know <laughs> it was released uh, it just before the release i had like so much of anticipation whether you know people will like this there are a lot of new concepts which we have introduced how are people going to receive it and the day you know we opened the office and the excitement i see uh, among the people you know the the pride they have in their eyes it's a great high for me uh, i love it uh, uh, you know you know the visitors which who comes in the, into the office uh, i see people having pride in showing the office this is our office and that's what we want i wanted to hear uh, and it's a great feeling it 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 uh, it kind of uh, pays the all the hard work which has gone into it not by me but by the entire team so yeah it's a it's a uh, great outcome i'll say and i just have to say okay i have to congratulate you and your team on the magnificent job that's gone into making this a su successful work of art so to speak so thank you for spending time with us thanks sai sharing your insights pleasure to meet you again yep. thank, thank you. you hi good evening clifford i'm sai shetty hi sai very nice to meet you hi. now i'm aware that you and your team you've had very long nights over here overlooking this whole process you know So you have been there from the start. You've seen all of us over here at ZS. We've see we see the finished product, but you've seen the raw material. You know, and this was nothing. So I was just wondering if you could give us some insight or you know some facts that everyone knows about the office when they see it, but about the effort that went into it. You know that people might not know of. If you could elaborate on that. I say, this has been really an amazing journey for us. it took us almost 6 months to build this facility while doing this facility we kept in mind the employee well being where we have a dedicated wellness center for them we have the gymnasium for them we have the play area game zone for them and there are other the cafeteria and the other areas are there where we have about plenty of meeting rooms planned for them so the employees have a free environment we have about 250 2500 plants which are green plants which are plant planted in the office the building is lead certified and to man overall to manage this we do have a efficient facility management team that we have in house which really takes pains to make the office look neat and smart every day well i mean listening to all that it's really amazing that so much thought process went into this keeping the employee well well being in mind and on behalf of the whole organization we really appreciate the efforts that you and your team have put into making this such a successful and smooth 
transition for all of us. So thank you so much. Before. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It's versatile and vibrant. Okay, so I just got a glimpse of the new office yesterday, just like everyone else. And what caught my attention was the collaborative spaces, these huddle spaces which we have to just sit and talk and work at the same time. And I guess it completely aligns with ZS's success mantra of collaboration. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to spending more time in these places, in these huddle locations and really increasing the impact I create in the process. My work demands a lot of creativity. The beautifully crafted and colorful interiors bring to me a lot of ideas. It's bright, it is open, it has, it's full of colors and the magnanimous window when light falls through it on your desk, you know, it's like an inspiration to look beyond your own limitations. I believe uh, it, it's a very well uh, thought through office and it's more like uh, a self space which offers me human connection. I think it's bright, vibrant and beautiful colours. I think all the spots in the office just make for such good pictures and selfies. In fact, all the pictures that were uploaded yesterday on our Facebook page, all our friends were saying they were jealous, jealous of our cool <laughs> workplace. So maybe our next catch-up can be somewhere here in one of the breakout areas and not really in a meeting oh, room. Oh yes, definitely. Alright, so now I hope you've had a very good look at the office. You've heard all our senior leaders speak very highly of the place. But now I have to get to my work. So I'll see you around.